welcome back to Flat Creek Digital. In today's video, we are going to do three different types of bleaching methods. I'm using basically just two different kinds of spray bottles and then doing it the way that I normally do it and just using the, the glass jar to do your outline. And we got the Zep bottle, which <laughs> technically is the Zep lid and then a two liter bottle because Charlotte ran off with my bottle. Um, so we're improvising. I think it'll do the same thing. And then we've got the Febreze bottle that everybody likes to use. And then of course, like I said, I got my glass jar of bleach. Um, and a straight bleach in all three. Um, I use Clorox bleach. This one here. And I have all my other stuff by. I got my flour, my paint brushes, and um, I got two other shirts that I'm going to do, so we're going to do three other methods. This is the uh, Gildan G6400. I think it is the uh, Heather Royal color. So uh, I think what we're going to try first is maybe the, let's do the Febreze bottle first. Let's try that. This is my first time ever using the bottles, so we'll both be doing it, trying it out. I think what I'm going to do, I might just try to do like a square. Um, let's see here. This is a size small, so I'll do kind of small. Maybe go over a little more. Basically, I'm just spraying my little area here, and then I'm going to go around, and please wear gloves. Um, Charlotte ran off with my gloves and my spray bottle a while ago, so don't have any gloves. I'm going to try my best not to get it on my hands, but please wear gloves. And now I'm just going to spritz around the shirt, all right, and then we're just going to let it sit. I might spray a little bit more in the center here. Maybe next time I might try to do an outline if I did it this way, but it's turning pretty quick. I don't know if you can see it. All right, so we're going to let this one sit and dry, and then we'll go to the next method. Okay, guys, um, we're going to try the second shirt, and with this shirt, we're going to try and do the uh, Zet bottle or my improvised Zet bottle. I don't think this is the bleach resistant one that everyone keeps talking about, but um, I didn't see it. So my husband had one of these, um, but like I said, Charlotte ran off of the bottle, so I had to improvise, but we're gonna try it. Um, this is the uh, Heather Gildan 6400 in the Heather Orange. And we're just gonna do the same thing and do square, and then we're gonna do the little spritzes. I think I have it on the right setting, I'm not sure. First time using the spray bottle, so y'all are learning with me. Let's see. Oh, my paper's finally. I have to get the hang of the how the bottle's spraying. Yeah, I don't know about this. the right bottle. Or I don't have it on the right setting. I'm not sure. I don't know about this, guys. Well, we'll give it a go anyway. We're just going to kind of spritz. I think that's pretty good. I 
can't tell I'm a center area. I got enough or not. That bottle. Okay. All right, we're just gonna let that turn, um, and then uh, I will go to the next method, which is my original method, where I do the paintbrush and the outline. Now we're gonna do the uh, method that I normally do uh, for the bleaching, and I got my little uh, template that I just made out of butcher paper to make the little size for my design. It's just a little rectangle. Get my little bottle of bleach, or not bottle, but glass of bleach, and get my flower. And we're just gonna trace around our little square here, a rectangle. Make sure it's lined up good with your shirt. Three finger links down. I just kind of throw it around, give me a general idea. I get my paintbrush. And I just start following my outline. completely dry but it's getting there. Um, I'm going to spray it down with peroxide. Stop the bleaching process. Okay. And we'll flip it over. scared me. I thought that was a spider. Okay. We got the Febreze bottle. This is the one we did the Febreze bottle on. And I'll see if I can try to do it a little bit less. I think I did a little bit too much. Y'all tell me now how I'm doing this wrong. I feel like I'm spraying too much. You use the spray bottles just let me know in the comments you know how y'all do it because I really feel like there's too much on the front so let's see how the back turns out and we'll be back with the uh, other one that we did the orange with the zep bottle this is the one that we did with the zep bottle the center's not getting done and then it had so much of it that it went that way so that's probably gonna have a lot of streaks going that way so I'm not sure about the Zet bottle at least not the one I had I think I'm gonna have to go back and hit it with the paintbrush get some of these spots getting pretty overcast cloudy right now It got too soaked. I think that's what the problem is. There's too much coming out at once with that Zet bottle. Guys, um, this is <laughs> Dean. Come on now. Come on. Go down. Go down. Sorry about that. <laughs> He's always got to be up where I'm at. But anyways, here is the uh, Febreze bottle shirt. Turned out super cute. Probably did a little bit too much in the front. Um, this is the back. I did uh, the lighter spritzing on the back. Turned out cute. This is probably my favorite is the Febreze one. I do actually like that one. 
And here's the Zep bottle. Now that one was a little bit trickier, probably just because I didn't have the right bottle. I had to redo it. And then of course it ran some because there was so much bleach. Hey Dino. <laughs> Just got to get back up here. But it turned out cute. The back turned out good. Um, probably if I had to choose though, I'd do the Febreze. And then here of course is the regular. That I normally do. Turned out cute. Um... Just y'all let me know in the comments which ones y'all like. I think my daughter said she likes the Febreze one. I just need to do less sprays. So I might put her little design on there. But they turned out super cute. Um, I may make another video um, about whether or not it's good to sublimate before or after bleaching. I feel like the image fades if you sublimate before you bleach. But I want to make a video to test it. And a couple of other videos I have in mind. So just keep an eye out. I just want to make sure that, you know, I give everybody all the tips and tricks that I learn. Help out other small business owners. Um, or anybody who just wants to do it as a hobby. So just keep an eye out. And uh, thank y'all for watching. And please like and subscribe. Thank y'all.